right guys welcome back or to the channel appreciate you all stopping by to check these videos out um, all the support and help is greatly appreciated so on today's video or in today's video I should say um, we're gonna put some rock lights on so I don't know a few weeks back I won this uh, Aurora rock light kit uh, this op 7 rock light kit from impulse customs on a uh, on an instagram giveaway so i've been kind of going back and forth on what i was going to do with them I, I i initially was going to put them on my uh my side by side because there's only four of them but then i got to thinking i already got the leds under uh the old 1500 here so it'll probably set it off a little bit to get uh to get some rock lights in the wheel well at least i think it will but uh We'll see how it looks, I guess, once it gets done. Um, should be a pretty easy install. Like I said, there's just four of them. Uh, the Rams are a little bit different. Well, the Rams that I have are a little bit different, I guess. I don't go around looking at everybody's wheel wells, but the front wheel wells actually have a whole liner that's in there, so those would be no big deal. We can put the lights wherever we want. Here, let me flip this around and show you guys. Ooh, look at that reflection. She's pretty dirty. At any rate, so... The back part, you got a portion of a wheel well liner up front and a portion of a wheel well liner in the back. Uh, that's just all metal. So what we're going to do or what I'm going to do is, is we're going to pull this forward liner out and mount that rock light just about as high as we can up there. And that should shine enough light back that it, uh, it'll light up this whole wheel well. And then in the front... We'll kind of do the same thing. We'll get, be able to get it a little bit higher up here. Um, we'll put it in this area somewhere, kind of up there. And then that should give us enough wiring to where uh, I don't need to cut and extend anything or get any kind of extensions or anything like that. So at least that's what the plan is anyway. Rock lights are pretty standard. And again, I've never used the Op7 um, lights. They seem like they're pretty heavy duty, pretty small which I like they're not huge some of the rock light kits you get the lights are just like really big and bulky looking I like to try to get them to where you can't really see them uh, you know that good uh, well actual see the actual light obviously we want it to to shine out as much light as we possibly can to light that wheel well up so but at any rate that's what uh, what we got going on I'm gonna get this thing jacked up get the wheels off of it and uh, get those liners pulled out being my garage is how tight it is i'm gonna have to do this in two steps so i'm gonna get the back done i'll get the wheels pulled off like i said we'll get those liners pulled out we'll get the holes drilled the lights mounted the wires ran as far forward as we can to where wherever i pick underneath where i'm gonna put the uh the module and i'm gonna put this uh try to keep this thing as protected as i can so here's the module and then obviously all four of your rock lights got to plug into that so we're going to get everything ran over to one side this is mounted on my kits up very high up underneath the truck so it's not down getting water and stuff thrown all over it and i'll do the same thing with that and then we'll just have to take the positive and negative and run them under the uh, under the hood and the truck's already got a six position gang switch if you watch the other videos you know what i'm talking about and uh, ground it right underneath the hood, plug that power wire in, and then uh, you'll have the on-off switch in the cab already. So, all right, let me get this set up, guys, and uh, I'll show you what we're working with. Wow, guys, that was actually one of the easiest liners I've ever pulled out in my life. So basically, one, two, three, four bolt holding it in, and it popped right out. Very, very easy. So now what I'm going to do is figure out if I can get this bag open so these bags come with different kinds of mounts so you got the mount like that which is kind of curved okay so if you're gonna you know mount that on a bar or anything like that it'll curve right around it and then you got a flat mount in here and that's laid out for your wiring from your rock light to lay into because it's obviously got to go through that hole so those are the three holes that we need to drill so I just want to see how this is going to fit there. And again, this is plastic. So 
this angle here is going to have the light shining straight back kind of into the wheel well if I did it down here it would have it shining up in the wheel well so I'm gonna see because this rubber is a little bit bigger than the actual light itself how that's gonna look and I kind of want that centered there as best as I can uh, and I think that's uh, that'll probably do it for us Let me grab one of these lights so light I could use one of the other ones kind of pokes down through there pull your wire through and depending on how you're gonna mount it that's why those strips are in there so it'll let that that wire lay flat behind it and then come out the hole and you can see the the actual rock light itself is a tad bit smaller than the uh, than the rubber itself so I think we'll be okay if we do it like that and that way uh, the wiring will run right down behind this thing and it'll be hidden you won't be able to see it so let me get this set up and get this drilled and I'll show you guys what I got once I get it drilled and installed all right guys check this out that's pretty much it pretty much sitting centered there and you really won't be able to tell side to side anyway as long as you're pretty centered there uh, I think the light should shine uh, should shine fairly well inside the wheel well there uh, basically just drilled uh, three pilot holes drilled a hole big enough for the wire to come through uh, and then uh, a hole big enough for uh, for the screws or bolts to go through there and that's pretty much it and then your wire will run down along the back side of it there so yeah pretty simple so i'm gonna get this one thrown back in the truck because i want to see how it looks make sure that uh that's exactly where i want it and then uh i'll pull the other one out and do it once that's done we'll get uh the truck flipped around and uh do everything on the front end pretty simple all right guys we got the back all done they're all in the place if you can see them in there oh there he is and i got the truck flipped around i'll show you guys the wiring underneath as soon as i get back underneath there but now we got the truck flipped around here and uh, we got to start working on the front i gotta get this front jacked up and it's saturday again which means it's off to work tomorrow so there you go there's the red wires for the number one and that should be oh that's five we don't want that we want number two. At any rate, that's where the power and ground to come up to. Power and ground is hanging right underneath there. I'll get those stretched out. But first, we got to get the front of this truck jacked up and get these wheels off so I can get these inner fender liners out. Won't take long. I've had them out a couple times before, so no big deal. And uh, we'll see where we're going to put these two rock lights on the front. Uno momento. Let me get this thing jacked up. Get you guys back on the tripod here. guys let me show you the progress that we've made here so far so we got the uh, f uh, front side inner fender liners out as you can see we got the uh, the rock light mounted right there that'll be up top shining down I actually got the other side already put back in we got the power and ground already extended that's gonna go up underneath the hood that's probably way more than I need but we'll cut that stuff to fit as we're going in and here is the other side lights all installed wires ran drops down let me see if i can show you over here everything's coming over to this frame rail 
Hold on a second while I get down on the floor. Get this wire out of my way. Everything's coming to this side. And I still got some tidying up to do, but there's your module, all the wiring. And actually, I have not cut anything yet. Everything's been long enough. There's the one that comes from the passenger side, kind of runs the top there. I got it tucked in on the, uh, the heat blankets so it's not touching nothing, nice and tidy. And we just got to make this little bit of a run here. And uh, she'll go right up and follow the stuff that's already running there. There's the LEDs that are underneath there. So, pretty simple so far. Not, uh, not too hard of a job. I think the hardest part is rolling around on the floor. I definitely need to get a lift. <coughs> I'm gonna be building a shop here as soon as I can. Uh, but at any rate, those, uh, those wires are already ran in here. That stuff's been in there already. We're just gonna follow those in and follow them up. And uh, we'll have working rock lights here shortly. So it won't take me much, much longer now to get this knocked out. And like I said, ultimately, the power wire is gonna come right into the number two here. And then I'll tidy all this up. The heck is that, a piece of stick underneath the hood. I'll tidy all that up and uh, the on and off will be already uh, in the cab. No big deal. All right, let me get that knocked out real quick and get some tires back on this thing. All right, guys, here we go. She's back on the ground. Wheels are back on her. Lights are all installed. The kid and I are getting ready to move it out of the garage here so we can get the ramps off the back of it. And it is freaking cold outside right now. We just got done doing the snow again. Let's see what these lights look like. Oh, hold on. I gotta push the brake pedal. Set y'all there for one second. Stay. Alright, let's get this thing warmed up. So I don't know if I showed that on the last one, but uh, there's where the uh, her six uh, accessory switches are. Man, that thing's really bright on this camera. It's not that bright in real life. But that one right there is our LEDs that one right there is gonna be a rock lights get these mirrors back out and see what this thing's gonna look like there you go I'll see if I can't find one of just the LEDs and kind of insert a picture of it because it's kind of hard to tell now but those rock lights are uh, are glowing, uh, glowing pretty good. Makes the truck look pretty good. So, pretty easy install. Just a four, no big deal. Got them knocked out uh, in an afternoon. I worked on it a few hours yesterday, and in a few hours today, and I've been working on everything else since. But all wired up on the switch. Everything's good to go, and I did wire her truck. I don't really want to shut it off because I just started it, but I wired her truck when she kills her ignition everything goes off Because that's the way she wanted it. She didn't want to forget And have a dead battery. So there you go That'll, uh, that'll wrap it up for this one All installed looking good and We'll catch you guys on the next one Peace